we work in communities first and foremost, but the people who are living in close contact of these viruses are where the pandemic starts. You go to a small village where we can barely communicate and still we can have a conversation about ways to change the world. The people who we work with are really receptive to learn and to work with us. Unfortunately, in Central Africa, the poverty level is incredibly high. People are looking for ways of finding food to feed their family. We work with hunters to come in and bring us dried blood spot cards. So when they go hunting, they will take some of the blood from the animal that they've killed and put it on the card so that we can do our research. What we can communicate is that for certain behaviors that people are doing that we know are dangerous, it's our responsibility to talk to them about it, to look for ways that they can do things differently without changing their cultural habits. I think that is a very different kind of work than working in a lab coat, but it's equally important because you're getting the message out about how to avoid pandemics.